Well, uh, the ASPO first is the uh, the uh, frontline study for CML patients in chronic phase, where they were randomized to receive either a Siminib or any of the approved tyrosine kinase inhibitors for frontline therapy. The physicians had to choose a priori whether if randomized to the control arm, they would receive imatinib or a second generation TKI. So the primary endpoint was a simony versus imatinib or a simony versus all of the TKIs. And what we showed is that the uh, primary endpoints, both primary endpoints were met. There was a very significant uh, difference uh, in the rate of major molecular response by 48 weeks, which was uh, the, the, the point where the primary endpoint was measured uh, in favor of both against imatinib, uh, a delta of almost 30%, and versus uh, all of the TKIs, a delta of almost 20%. Um, and then um, the, the, there's already some deep molecular responses, also better for uh, both uh, uh, groups, uh, both control groups. Um, but also very important, the safety profile. Generally speaking, the, uh, the, the discontinuation for adverse event was about half. Uh, for a seminib compared to the tyrosine kinase inhibitors. All the individual um, adverse events, they were equivalent or better with, uh, with a seminib. So really a very nice risk-benefit uh, ratio that um, you know, provides probably a, a potential for the next step in the management of uh, chronic myeloid leukemia.